But what are imperial and metric measurements, and where did they come from? Well, one of them came from this office that you can see to the right. Imperial actually used to mean, or used to be called, in British Imperial. And it was invented or brought in in Britain in 1824 through this office, the Weights and Measures Office. So it's almost 200 years old. Now, in contrast, the metric conversion came in a little bit before that, in 1799, in France. Metric tends to use things in terms of ten, so tens, hundreds, thousands. Whereas imperial, I'll be honest, is a bit skew with, and I'm British. OK, let's look at a few different conversions. The only countries, by the way, who use imperial, it's mainly uh, USA, a little bit, it's mixed in Britain, we use some metric, some imperial, and in a few other countries, but most of the rest of the world uses metric now. With what measurement would we measure the height of your monitor, your computer monitor, if we're using the old style imperial? We would actually measure that in inches. How about if we were measuring it in, in, in uh, metric, with metric measurements? We'd talk about in terms of centimetres. And I'm going to spell that a British way. How about your weight? What would be the old way of measuring your weight? And I say old, but I actually uh, measure my weight in imperial. So that's pounds and stone. See if you can guess some of these before I, I say. What about the metric way of measuring your weight? That's kilograms. The distance from where you're sitting now to the door of your room, assuming you're in a room. If you're outside, this is going to be a lot, a bit too big. But well, actually, the nearest door, this is still going to work, I think. The old way of measuring it would be in yards. The new way, or the metric way of measuring it, is meters. What about the distance to Paris? And again, if you're in Paris, this might not quite work, but you can just sing along, drink coffee, and some wine, and it will all be fine. The distance to Paris in Imperial, that would be miles. Now, miles is perhaps the Imperial measurement used most frequently, even by those who often use metric measurements. The metric equivalent would be kilometers. And a quick um, primer on words, kilo is the equivalent of a thousand. So kilometers is a thousand meters, kilograms a thousand grams. How about the amount of water in a jug? What would be the imperial way of saying that? Depending on how much there was, you'd measure it in pints or gallons. What about the metric way of measuring how much water there is in a jug? That is litres. How about the weight of a pencil? What would be the imperial way of measuring that? Not a lot of people know this, but it would be ounces. And the metric equivalent would be grams. Now, all of these conversions, which I'm about to give, are useful not only in, in exams, but also in real life. They come up all the time, especially if you travel. Let's do the first one, inches to centimetres. There are 2.5 centimetres in one inch. How about feet? And I don't mean feet that have socks. I mean a 10-foot pole or a 6-foot person. A foot is actually th roughly 30 centimetres, which itself is roughly 12 inches. Both of those things equal a foot. Let's change colour. How about yards and metres? Well, this is an easy one, because one yard is actually roughly one metre. All of these are rough conversions. They're not exact, but 
to one or two significant figures, they are correct. How about miles to kilometers? This is a really useful one to know. One mile equals 1.6 kilometers. How about kilograms and pounds? There are 2.2 pounds in a kilogram. Next one, let's change it to red, just so it stands out. Gallons and litres. Always good to know if you're planning to drink a gallon of uh, water, which is a bit uh, I wouldn't recommend. One gallon equals 4.5 litres. There we are. I think we can squeeze in a couple more. How about just one more? Given that I'm broadcasting from England and London, one thing that would be especially useful if you enter an English pub, which I recommend, especially Weatherspoons, one pint equals 600 millilitres. And this is just an introduction to all the different imperial and metric conversions that there are out there.